Good morning. Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Join the family if you like the food. It's the place to be. Then come and have a little fun with your girl, KC. Listen, y'all, we're about to do a breakfast mukbang. I got some fruit, omelet, some cornmeal hash, some chicken sausage, some, uh, did I say grits, bacon, mushrooms, pineapples, all that. Okay, so if you are new to the channel, you can please hit your subscribe button and your notification bell so be notified when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to share, like, and leave me a comment. I really appreciate it. So listen. We gonna, I know y'all can't probably see the food or whatever, but child, I had to go down there. It's so thick down there. So if you don't know, well, most of y'all know where I am, so. Mm. And the grits still hard. And I put, I put my corned beef hash in my grits. Y'all do that? I do. And it's so good. My grandma started me eating it like this. <laughs> so yeah, girl, we got a little breakfast in bed or whatever. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Oh, that's good. I look forward to this every morning. This is my omelet. I get an everything omelet. If, if, if anything start poking out, don't worry. They don't bite. <laughs> you done seen them before. Or somebody. You ain't seen these, but. Mm. Girl. Do y'all eat the, um. I don't know what it's called. I think it's, I want to say it's called Lux. But you know the cream cheese bagel with the onion, capers, and salmon. I got one child trying to be fancy. Mmm. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I got one. Because I always see people eat it and it always smells so good. You know I love capers. I love salmon. Of course, cream cheese. And onion. Now, I think the salmon is smoked. At least I hope so. If not, I'll take that part off. Mm. Yes, good. So, thank y'all so much for watching my last video. I really appreciate it. See, y'all about to make me really try to live on these people's ship. <laughs> I could just work from the ship. Hmm. Yes. Um. Those of you who have been um following me closely know that I was on a uh, four day cruise in the beginning. I was supposed to get off yesterday. <laughs> I went ahead and just extended my little stay. I wasn't ready to leave, so I'm on for three more days, then I'm going to get off. <laughs> so I told Kit, I was like, oh, my little feet ashy, don't look at them. Okay, I was like, I'm going to stay for, uh, I'm going to stay for uh, three more days. So how you talking about? So you give people an inch, they'll take a yard. <laughs> I'm like, child hush. Y'all don't need me. Y'all don't miss me. Mm -mm -mm. So, I'm just going to chill on the ship. I love it here. I love it. It is, y'all, the weekend 
Like the three day cruise is totally different from, not totally, but it's more crowded, more active. Oh, and if you know somebody that's a, what did he say he was? Or they were? They having a regional convention here. Um, I know I'm going to say this wrong. The Sigmas. Y'all know the Sigmas in the blue, the fraternity of the Sigmas? Well, they have a name. Regional conference on here. And I've seen a lot of Zetas. Zetas? And the Sigmas. So... They look nice in they little blue or whatever. <laughs> and they're real cool. Everybody's so nice. Mm -hmm. I was in the elevator. No, I was going toward the elevator. And the lady was like, good morning. I was like, good morning. He's talking about... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can hear the energy in your voice. Yeah. What's about you getting off? I was like, no. Because we're in Nassau right now. I was like, no. She said, I just like to stay on the ship. Oh, speaking of staying on the ship, um, Jamia. <clears throat> oh, happy birthday, early birthday to your daughter. She's doing a whole countdown. I know that's right. Um, yeah, plenty of people just stay on here. They don't get off. You don't, you don't have to get off if you don't want to. You could just chill. Try the day go by so fast. Yeah, you could just chill. Do what you want to do. Go get your massage or not. Whatever. And you know if you do back to back. Meaning if you stay on the ship, you know. They have to walk you to customs and they just walk you right back on the ship and then you're done. I met a man named Mr. Joe. He's a Mr. Joe, Uncle Joe, either one. Baby, he gave me a little rundown. I need to start going to the casinos. I thought I knew a lot. I really thought I knew a lot, but he really broke some stuff down. Like, I didn't know that the little casino club get that many free cruises. I need to start doing the slot machines. Somebody got to teach me. Sure. Yeah, over there getting all the perks. So I'm going down there to the casino today to learn these slots. I'm going to join the... Um, Join the club. Shoot. I was going to bring y'all closer, but I think I was going to mess up the angle of the camera. So don't worry about that. So yeah. I need to learn about that. So thank y'all so much for engaging in the last video. Telling me. <laughs> well, answering the question of the day. Some of y'all had me hollering. Y'all are honest, honest. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see. My favorite part of breakfast in the wind jam is the omelet. Of course, the grits, corn beef hash. Mm. But bacon, when it's crispy, my bacon got to be done, done. I don't want no crisp, you know, no flimsy bacon. I can't eat it. Ooh, the goodies. <laughs> Me trying to pick your kid goodies. Mm-mm. Trying to look at the goodies. Mm. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make this one as long because the last one I had to let it upload overnight. So I just wanted to pop in, say, child, I stayed on these people's ship. <laughs> what I'm rushing home for? Shoot. 
He's fine. I talked to him. Um, what I was gonna tell you. Oh, I forgot. Child, you get a little older and your short term memory start leaving you. My God, no. I knew when it started when I headed to the kitchen and couldn't remember what I was going to get. Like, girl, look where it started. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Let's try this. Um, oh, tomorrow I'm going to do the sugar grits. I forgot. Her. Was it Teresa? I don't know what her name was. Sugar grits versus the butter grits. Let me just do it as a short, I think. Let's see how this tastes. I wanted some more capers on mine. I should have asked for it. Dang. When they got this caper salsa that's always on like the first day, it was so good. All right, let's bite it. Ooh. I don't know why I have to have my meat. I was thinking Friday salmon. Don't judge me, y'all. I have to have it done, done. I know it's smoked, but gee. Good. You need some capers though. That would set it off. You good with the fresh cucumber? I might start getting one. Mm-hmm. I got a brand muffin. Mm, one more thing. I forgot I saw stuff to tell you. I was going to go live, but child. Oh, and I switched rooms. The reception in this room, I don't know if it'll hold up during a live. I should have tried. I'm trying to get that. Mm, that little beta thing was good. Mm. I get full so fast. I guess I'll say all that food you should. Mm. Oh, thanks to everybody that said they like my blanket. <laughs> Appreciate it. I bring it on every cruise. Whoo! That was good. Mm -hmm. I love gonna tell you. So some people say, why didn't a uh, kid go on your birthday cruise with you? He got to work. He, he doesn't do social media, so. You know, we go on some vacations and some, he's just not going to be able to go. And I know some people like, you know, after you get married, you're not supposed to do solo trips or whatever. I don't I don't believe in that, y'all. That's why I told you, I don't think I have a traditional marriage. Because <laughs> I'm like, who made that up? Because we have individual interests. Like, he, he does stuff. He likes different stuff that I don't like. He likes to travel a certain way sometimes that I don't want to travel. I travel certain ways. He don't want to travel. And I think you should still have your individuality even after you get married. Because a lot of times I see married couples... That, you know, one person might want to travel, love to travel. The other person might have, you know, like a fear of traveling. But it's like, I'm like, is it fair that you don't get to explore and, you know, do the things that you want to do? 
or or y'all tell me what you think and we could agree to disagree like just say for instance if your spouse is a homebody and they don't like traveling they don't want to be bothered with them people in the airport and flying over the country or they don't want to be bothered with cruising because they don't like cruising and you want to explore and travel you just say for instance if you work hard your whole life now you're retired or whatever or just say you just want to take your two-week vacation and you want to go travel but your spouse does not like traveling do you leave your spouse and go ahead and travel or do you say well since he doesn't want to go or since he or she doesn't want to go I just won't, you know, explore my bucket list. So I just won't try these different things. So y'all let me know what you think. I just think it's like, mm, I would feel bad. Cause Kent used to travel to like California or San Francisco, but well, I said California, but San Diego for like computer conventions or, or software development conventions. I'm like, I don't want to go to that. <laughs> and I know people like, well, you could go and just mingle and stuff while he's at the convention and stuff. And I was like, yeah, but I, I don't want to go to that. But I don't think he should not go because I don't want to go. So he used to go all the time. You know? So he can keep up with certain skills or new stuff that's coming out. I'm like, go have fun, do your thing. And then I like to go to certain places. He has no interest in them. So, let me know what y'all think. If your spouse is tired of going just say for instance because you know we do disney a lot and one spouse would be like hey i don't want to go no more <laughs> i don't want to go to disney no more <laughs> i went 150 times and you're like well i want to go or you might want to go on a shopping trip or you might want to do back-to-back cruising oh because i met this lady right i said i wasn't gonna make this long but i met this lady her husband got off the ship she stayed on the ship. She's a nurse. And her sisters are coming on the ship to meet her. And they're going to celebrate their birthdays and stuff. I thought that was so cool. I was like, see, people travel different ways. Um, Mr. Joe, this is fifth back to back. Mm-hmm. Five. He had six. But, so when people be like, you, you you cruise a lot. I'm like, no, y'all ain't met the real cruisers. They stay on here for like a month. I just find it so interesting to talk to people and see how they cruise alone or with somebody or whatever. I'm going to bite my pound apple. See if it's juicy. Mm-hmm. Mm. I thought it sweet. Mm. Girl, this the life. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. All down my chin. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, that's good. That is a sweet pineapple. Mm. So, yeah. That was it. I just wanted to come and do a breakfast month bag. That thing was so good. Everything was good. I love sauteed mushrooms. Ooh. All right, I don't want to make this long. I love y'all. We still out here, y'all. <laughs> we still out and about, It's perfect because I get off on the 22nd, and that's the end of Capricorn season. 
We did good. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining me, traveling with me, loving on me. I really appreciate it. Much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. And until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. And thank y'all for the best birthday gift ever. <laughs> Your love, support, prayers. I had a great time. This will probably be my last video on the ship. I don't know. We'll see. But see y'all later.